race to the polls on June the 8th for a general election that will shape how the country enters tense and potentially tough negotiations on its exit from the European Union. The result seems almost certain. Theresa May has a commanding lead in the polls and is likely to increase the Tory majority. For financial markets, this election is really all about how the UK enters the Brexit process, which is due to begin properly on June the 19th. So far, the pound has been the asset most exposed to the political risks, and today it's enjoying something of a revival on hopes that the election produces greater stability. Selling has gained around 5% since Mrs May called for the snap election on April the 18th. We see three big reasons why the vote itself has delivered a stronger pound. First, by calling an election early, the government gets extra breathing space uh, to negotiate a transition deal beyond 2019, with no election due until 2022 now. Second, a stronger Tory majority, in theory, might weaken the hand of the hardline Brexiteers and therefore make for a smoother and softer transition out of the EU more likely. Thirdly, a bigger domestic mandate for Mrs May could put her in a better position to get the UK a better deal. But there are risks to these assumptions and a late Labour surge could derail Mrs May's ambitions for a strong and stable majority. In equities, FTSE 100 has surged to record highs, which is consistent with a trend that shows stock markets tend to rise when the results of the election is easy to call. But analysis of elections between 1970 and 2010 shows UK stocks tend to underperform global equities to the tune of around 3.4% uh, in the months after the election. For more on the election and coverage, uh, head to ETX Capital for the latest insights and analysis.